sultry latte cappuccino coffee type look um i feel like i've never really done a straight up just glam look on here we've been going kind of natural so i wanted to kick it kick. so i wanted to kick it up a notch and try something a little more glam today so if you want to see how i got this look right here keep on watching please don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and a thumbs up if you like this video First, I'm just prepping my eye with the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. Then I'm building up my crease with the shade Necessary. And then deepening my crease a little bit more with the shade Churro. I'm really blending this out and kind of creating that airbrushed effect. And then I'm packing the color into the lid to increase the intensity right here. Absolutely obsessed with this palette. Basically this look I'm just gonna be using pretty much all the matte shades from this Desi times Katie um, Dose of colors makeup palette. I'll link it down below. I get so much use out of this palette And then I'm just cutting my crease with some concealer. You can use any concealer you want for this After I do that I like to blend out those edges so they're not too harsh I just do it to make the lid really pop and have a contrast. And then I'm using the shade Basic to set that concealer. And that's just my base matte lid color. I'm using the shade Cheens to create this wing. And then I was feeling bougie. I'm using this YSL primer. It's a sample, don't get it twisted. I did not pay for this, um, but it just feels really nice. And then I'm going in with the Goat Pro Glow, my favorite foundation ever. Um, I'm in the shade 208 at the moment and then contouring with my wet n wild photo focus stick foundation I first blend this out with a beauty blender and then I'll take a smaller brush to blend out the details on my nose taking it under my eyes as well kind of to smoke out that lower lash line and then I'm just highlighting with my Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Oat, blending that out with my Beauty Blender. And then setting my face with the Charlotte Tilbury powder and then baking with the Kat Von D Translucent powder. I went ahead and contoured with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, just kind of mixing all the deeper shades together and contouring my face and taking a little bit of that contour and taking it under my eyes. Okay, here's where things get crazy. This is actually a lip pencil, and I just really like the color. I don't know that you should be putting lip pencils in your waterline, but I went with it. Um, <laughs> you can use any brown pencil you want. And then I just went ahead and set this with that same Cheens color from the eyeshadow palette I used and kind of connected it with my top liner. Now I'm just dusting off all my bake, applying some Ardell 113s, the other goat of lashes, I find these look so good on almost everyone and they're just really natural but still pretty. Give them a little flick of the wrist, if you will. And then I kind of try to take this fox eye approach just by applying a little bit of that brown shadow in my inner corner. Now I'm lining my lips with Sugar Pie by Morphe and putting Lavish by Milani on the inside. Just to blend my lash line, I put a little black mascara, I topped it with some gloss, and of course my favorite blush, Luminoso by Milani. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you like this video, please don't forget to comment, leave a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Have a good day.